Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here, we're going to do a beer review. Okay. Uh, let's see here. This one is by Unsung Brewing Company. And they are from uh, hang on where the heck are they from having a hard time finding where they're from here here we go Tustin California okay cool uh, this one's called um, Shatter Spike. It's a double dry hop India Pale Ale with Citra Mosaic and Burst. It says India Pale Ale Citra Mosaic Burst. Okay. Approved by the Brewers Code Commission. Got a bunch of literature on here. Um, I'm not seeing a date. So I don't know how long it's been in the warehouse, but it just showed up in Total Wine and More. I picked this up for like five bucks. Comes in at 7.2% alcohol by volume. And that's what the can looks like. And so I've done some of their beers. They're pretty good. Not bad. Um, let's get it crack open and see what we got here. Definitely looks like a West Coast style. And so. All right, we have a huge, frothy, creamy, foamy, bubbly, thick head. We have a slightly, slightly hazy amber color here. Lighter kind of amber. All right, let's do this. Slightly hazy, not totally clear. All right, cool. All right, looking good. Okay. Huge head. Nice and frothy, pillowy looking. Let's get an aroma on this puppy. Yep. A little bit of pine. Yeah, a little bit of pine. A little bit of malt sweetness. It's pretty much all I'm getting. Maybe a little earthy spice hop in there. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Yep. Typical West Coast style. Yeah. Tastes uh, like a West Coast style IPA, like a million other ones. Um, but it's it's good. Yeah. 
um, it's pretty well balanced. Got a medium mouthfeel. A little bit of earthy kind of spice hops coming through. Some little kind of pine. Yeah, medium mouthfeel. It's a very well constructed beer. I mean, tastes like a West Coast style. Yeah, really nice though. It's tasty, but it's not like super dank. It's kind of, you know, run of the mill. Uh, right, right up the middle. Nice uh, little head retention going there. Yeah, West Coast style IPA. Uh, good job. Uh, that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. Um, it's just a pretty much straightforward. Um, it's not super dank. It's it's not like weak. It's good. It's definitely good. I can't really pinpoint anything else except for you know general West Coast style type uh, beer. Pretty good. I don't think it's gonna be it's gonna be really memorable though. I probably won't get it again. I mean, like, there's nothing really standing out about it. It's just another uh, West Coast style. We'll swell one more time. We'll wrap it up. It tastes good though. It's a nice beer. It's a very enjoyable beer, for sure. I just wish it was a little more dank. Maybe a little more, you know, complexity. Just leaving some nice lacing on the glass. So that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. So um, on a scale of one to five stars, I'm going to give it a 3.8. Yeah, it's uh, it's right in there. Um, I don't know what the packs were going for, but I think it's a little overpriced for what you're getting here. But uh, it's a decent beer. so 3.8 it is that's my story i'll stick with that um like and subscribe i'd really appreciate that and thanks for stopping by and we'll catch you on the next beer review see ya cheers